do you think people should be judged based on the color of their skin? It's not that I think that, but it's that it's happening. And you cannot ignore that I might not be treated the same as right. him as so he walks You're right, door. it is happening. Like at Coca-Cola, they say they need to train their employees to abolish whiteness. At AT&T, they said they would need to train their employees to get rid of whiteness. We have a supply and demand issue with racism in our country. We have an incredibly low supply of racism and incredible demand to try to fulfill it. So we've created racism where it doesn't exist and try to turn everyone into mini racists against each other, which has now manifested itself into a massive anti-white movement in our country where I believe more than anything else, we should care about character, not skin color. Do you agree with that? It's not, I don't, I don't believe that you understand what I'm saying. It's not that I don't agree with not, um, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not that I know, don't agree with, um, you know, what you just said, but you have to realize that it's you, black people are like white people are not being hunt, haunted, hunted after. Y'all can come here and live a great freaking life. Alabama is a safe haven. These PhD Wait. fraternities and sororities are a safe haven you, for you white people. You think you're being hunted? Let me tell okay, y'all can laugh, but until you have walked as a black person on this campus, y'all y'all truly y'all truly don't understand. And I under, and I, I have I've gone to school with white people my whole life. I've I've so, gone so but I, it's just I, I will end with this. Um, you're not being hunted at the University of Alabama and there is no boogeyman that's trying to get you. It's not you're making you're making you live you're making it a, seem you live in the least racist country in the history of the world. You're in Ala that you're in has, Alabama. You are literally yes, in the the that, place where it's, it's not okay. You yes, you mean, you mean you the place that has given you more talking time than any other person here, and where they what, sit respectfully. You're supposed to shut me down and be like, go sit down? I mean, of yes, course I'm going to talk to that you. That would have happened 100 years ago. You're right. 100 years ago, you might not have been allowed to come into this room, so which would have been, to you because which would have been evil. No, instead, we are here, we're creating a movement to say we never want to go back to the segregation that once existed in this country that is now being pushed by people in corporate America, in academia, and other places. We want to strive for a country that cares about character and the soul and the spirit of the individual, not on tribes, not on the melanin content in people's skin. And I will say this as compassionately as I can, is that you are not being hunted as a black person in America. There is not a single statistic that affirms that. There's not a single data point. Instead, the opposite is true. We are the least racist, most accepting, multiracial country in the history of the planet. And I pray one day you'll be thankful to live in that country. Okay. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Um, everybody. CJ, CJ, come here. Really quick. I have a question. Come here. Go right there. Right there. So CJ, just really quick. You're a black person. Are you hunted at the university? You know, I don't, I don't feel hunted at this university, but I guess the difference between me and some people here is that I don't choose to be a victim, Charlie, which I think, which I think is the biggest problem we have here today are people who wake up every single day looking for a reason to be oppressed, looking for a reason to cry and make an excuse about why they're not in a position to go win. I don't see the color of my skin as a disability. I see it as simply an accessory that I couldn't control. I've been black all my life. I've been black today, and I'm thriving here. I think that's a, that's a roll tide right there, right? I don't know. And so, CJ, let me ask you, CRT, yeah. racist? It's not just racist, it's the exact iteration of white supremacy just in reverse. I think it's important that we start teaching young people not to hate other people because of the color of their skin. We can teach black people to be proud of who they are without telling white people they should be ashamed of who they are. You know? Amen. So, closing thought, CJ. Is this trying to divide the country? It's, it's not only trying to divide the country, it's trying to break apart the foundation upon which it was built. You know, people forget the words of MLK, Rosa Parks, all those people who fought so hard for us to be a united country where we didn't see the color of one's skin but, the, but their character. This is about taking us away from the vision and the dream of Martin Luther King and just taking us to the dream of Kamala Harris. And I don't want to live that dream. Amen. CJ, you're a great American. Give it up Thank for CJ, so everybody. So good.